Hello everybody, Hulk Rex here and welcome to another Mercenary Thoughts from the Inner Sphere. And today we're going to be talking about the 100 ton mech, the Grand Titan. I think this is episode 231 or something like that. Alright, we have a Grand Titan weighing in 100 tons. It's a 460 with a 400 XL engine. Which means its life expectancy is about half what it should be. But... You know, we do have endo steel on board, so heck, they knocked off five tons with that. That's not too bad. Carries around 12 doubled heat sinks and 288 points of armor, which is 18 tons. And a prefla of weapons. All right, and today's weapons loadout is on the right arm, we have two large pulse lasers with extreme short range of 10 in the right arm. Then in the left arm, we have an LRM-15 with Artemis and two tons of ammo. Alrighty. And then we have uh, an SRM-6 with a ton of uh, ammo with Artemis fire control in the right torso. And then we have in the left torso, we have an SRM-6 with Artemis and a ton of ammo. And then in the left arm and right arm, we have a medium pulse laser. And that's those little pokey things that you see up on the very top. And then we have a small pulse laser in the right and left torso facing to the rear. Within the head, we have an anti-missile system with a ton of ammo. All right. Well, and... Hey, what's with this mech carrying all kinds of ammo? And one thing it is missing is case. Yeah. Well, this is a walking time bomb kind of mech. It's designed to go out there and do a burst of damage. Uh, it's got something like that LRM-15. It does a little bit of damage as it's getting in close as the clans or the other intersphere mechs are ripping it to pieces. And then when it finally does get into close range, then it uh, is able to dish out a bunch of damage before it dies. That's been my experience with it. Uh, it's like, you see it going, oh, Grand Titan. Everybody fire on it for about two turns and then a torso is missing and then you just kind of move on to the next target. Uh, I want to like this mech, but it needs a major design change to make it workable in my opinion and when you have two well you well heck you got 14 tons wrapped up in something that goes only 10 hexes that's like having an ac20 you know by their pulse lasers fine yes you get the minus two so when it does get in close you know it's like you're cutting back on the range brackets a little bit just because of pulse lasers there is that but, you know, you're only doing a little bit of damage comparatively to what you have normally if you would have outfitted this thing with, let's say, a pair of uh, ERPPCs or something of that nature. Or at least one of them is an ERPPC. I can get around that. It's like you have the LRM-15 and an ERPPC is to your weapon systems. For long range support. And then when you get in close, obviously you can sh shut off the RPPC and start using the large pulse laser and then your smaller weapons. And you got what 16 heat wrapped up in the short range stuff. Well, you're talking about the two, well, the medium pulse laser only goes out to six. So you got to practically be in kicking, punching distance. You're not going to be punching because your two of your short range weapons are in the arms. So obviously, or actually four of your short-range weapons are in the arm. So you're obviously just going to kick. So you get in close, unleash with your short-range weapon systems, and then kick them. Well, a 20-point kick is nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. And you're typically probably going to have a decent pilot in, on board this thing. You're not going to have a four or five pilot or something like that. Uh, pathetic in a grand titan you know it's like that's a hundred ton mech you want something to at least hit something with it so there you go uh yeah <laughs> it's, it's like they're trying to throw every kind of weapon system they have 
and it doesn't do a bracketing very well. It's like you typically when you look at a mech, you got brackets. You got long range bracket, you got the medium range bracket, and then you got the short range bracket. Almost all those weapons on this mech, a hundred ton mech, is almost all of it is in the short range bracket. You got one weapon system that goes out to the long and medium, and when you get into the short range bracket, obviously you're not going to be using it against the same target. You might go shooting down range with it, but you're not going to be using it as your uh, short range stuff, which is fine. That's typical what you have with the LRM. And it's got plenty of short range stuff with the two SRMs and the two large pulses and the two medium pulse lasers. So when you get it, the medium pulse lasers into range, you're probably going to shut off one of the large pulse lasers because you're going to be doing more damage probably with the two medium pulse lasers. So, okay, there you got that. Now, there are a few different versions of this mech. There's the 11M. Okay, this one carries primary long-range weapons, a light Gauss rifle, and ERPPC gives it more long-range reach. Okay, that's you're looking at almost a direct uh, change right there. And it carries four uh, medium pulse lasers for in close, like short, short range. And then you got a pair of streak fours. Okay. Personally, I'm not a... If you can put streaks on, why don't you just go with streak sixes instead? Like downgrade, you know, like the, one of the pulse lasers or two and give it a streak six instead. And it does have ECM. So, it, okay. I like that. I always like the idea of ECM on my mechs. Uh, it, more times than not, it protects you from somebody that's carrying around Artemis, like, <clears throat> uh, like a Grand Titan. All right, so let's see. Then we have the 13M. Well, the 13M carries a heavy PPC. And it's like I've never been a fan of heavy weapons like that. Uh, they work when they do hit. And then you have two ER medium lasers. Okay, it gives you a little bit more range, out to 12. And then you have a single ER large laser out to 19. All right. Okay, so the heavy PPC, you got uh, two ER medium lasers, two medium, you have two medium lasers, okay, and then a small pulse laser for any infantry work. Hmm, all right. Why don't you just go with a flamer? I'd rather have a flamer myself. Uh, then you have the carries a sword. All right, so now you have a Grand Titan with jump jets and the heavy uh, duty gyro with a sword so this turns it with triple strength armor hey they decide hey you're gonna have a melee mech let's put triple strength on it hey makes sense total sense and now that uh, when you look at it it's like okay maybe it could have had a couple small lasers instead of the pulse lasers to kind of i like to have a couple small lasers instead that gives you that option of uh, controlling your heat a little bit better because sometimes you may run and then you have it's like oh geez i'm going to go over by one so having a couple smalls actually kind of helps you stay in that sweet spot of nine without going over so yeah and if you heat that thing up you're you're talking about something that's going to inflict a lot of damage when it gets in close they don't want that thing close they're going to probably try to kill it before it gets there but it works good probably in an arena or a city fight. You get into a city fight, that's going to be really handy. Then we got the Grand Titan Vengeance, which is the 14R. Uh, this is part of the Jihad. Uh, okay, now we have hardened armor. We have an armored compact gyro. We have an armored engine. We have an armored cockpit. This is like a pure... Uh, breaching system right here. We've got something that wants to stay alive long enough to breach through the, the ranks and then bust on through. And then it has a full head injection system. And then we have case two. All right. And it also carries a thumper artillery piece, which is also helpful for taking out infantry or hitting emplacements it's farther down range and it carries two clan er medium lasers all right and it's uh been reported that the thumper uses nuclear warheads 
Yeah, this makes it a nuclear vessel. All right. Interesting. Yes, very interesting. <laughs> I guess the uh, during the time of the jihad, oh my, the whole concept of not nuking your fellow man has gone away. All right. Okay, now, what would I do with this mech? I've said before, there's a, eh, a preface of stuff. Let me take the time here to bring this up. Basically, one of the thing, first things I would do is replace one of the uh, large pulse lasers with an ERP PC. That just makes total sense to me. That, you know, when you're looking at it, you got a weapon system that's going to do a chunk of damage. All right. At, out at range. So you're doing 10 out to 23. You pair that up. It works good with the LR15 you already have on board. All right. So that's a good combination between the two. And then you can make good use of that. Now, personally, I would take those two medium pulse lasers and replace them with medium lasers. I'm giving myself three more hexes and the damage output is you know, the same, but you're actually doing more damage because obviously you have two more weapons. Hey, and then uh, since I don't have anything else, I'm probably going to rip out the anti-missile system and replace it with a medium laser in the head and then throw that half ton into armor. Now, another thing I would probably do is uh, get rid of, most of the time before this mech gets in range, that Artemis that you have on board, those SRM-6s are pretty, you're, you're just carrying extra tonnage, it's not gonna be very useful. Yes, it's the same range you're going to get with the medium lasers, but I'd rather take those two tons and throw it into heat sinks. That way I can turn around and have like 15 heat sinks. Downgrade maybe that... Here, one thing you can do. You could possibly downgrade that other large pulse laser and replace it either with a, another PPC and you have 15 heat sinks. That allows you to uh, look at maybe firing the two PPCs or changing it to a ER large laser instead, taking two more tons, at, which can go to heat sinks and more armor. Or then you're sitting at a mech that has two SRM6s, five medium lasers, an LRM15 with Artemis, and a PPC, ER PPC, and an ER large laser. Yes, uh, you're going to be doing 27, 32 heat. And if you run, that's 34. But you can dissipate 30, so you can do that for a complete turn. And then when you're going to be turning off one of the systems, it's probably going to be the or large. Or you can just leave it as a large laser that goes out to 15. Now, there's an option there, too. So you got that mid-range bracket also going on. And a, a large laser does work pretty decently in the Succession Wars. Yes, it's short range. It's the same range of a uh, clan ER medium laser. But, you know, there, you have some options. And you kind of turn this mech into a little bit better, uh, better armored mech. So you're kind of maxing out the armor with this thing. And then you're sitting at with a mech with, obviously, some decent firepower in your three range brackets of long range, medium, mid range, and in short range. Uh, most of your damage is going to be done in the short range bracket because that's where all your medium lasers and the SRMs are. And if you have that large laser, and that's still going to be part of that little grouping, you're going to shut off that because uh, five medium lasers is 15 heat. That's the same as that ERP PC. So I'd rather shut off the PPC and start using the five medium lasers. And guess what? Your damage go potential goes from 10 to 25. That's good math, in my point. All right, so that is kind of how I look at it. This is one of those mechs that needs a major overhaul. It's kind of a cluster, let's just put it that way. And its standard configuration is it comes off the assembly line. Uh, it... it tries to do well but it every time i've ever seen it really being used it falls flat on its face 
and dies a horrible bo booming death. Most of the time I've seen these mechs on the table, they explode because they carry so much ammo and you get one crit in there, typically you're gonna hit the ammo and it's gone because it has no case, right? So, and then it has XL engines. So yeah, there you go. All right, that's the Grand Titan. I wanna like it. And when I do like it, it means it's got a major overhaul on the uh, rack and turned into something a little bit different. All right. Hope you guys liked this one. Talk to you later. Elk Rex out.